All right, guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, try to start replacing the transom on my boat, and uh, hopefully we don't run into any disasters. So we're going to take the uh, steering cable off first. Ow. So we've got that loosened, and we've got that part taken off. Take that off. Take it out of there so we don't have to worry about that. Fuel line. All right, cool. All right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, but enough to get it clear of everything. That should be good, right there, shouldn't it? Uh huh. It should. So we've got. I'm so glad I found that thing. Yeah, me too. Got that thing off. All right. Oh. All right. Good start. All right. We have cleared out the back of the boat, and we're going to start taking the rest of the bolts out of the of the wood transom and get the rest of this stuff here. If I could get it. All right. Next, we're going to take this stabilizer out right here. And so we could get to the wood and begin taking it out. We got the bottom screws and out of that. We got that stable. Getting this. We got that stabilizer right off. We're gonna get that screw off right there, and then we're gonna start pulling the lip and the wood out. And this is how rotten that wood is back there. Tried to start prying it out, and it just started falling apart. I used that the old one as a uh, template i'm gonna cut it all the way down there then i'm gonna use it and cut it again and then we should have two pieces we could put together so i have cut the transoms out both pieces that piece there and uh where'd the other one go i got it around here oh it's under it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this flex seal to uh seal it up and uh we're gonna wait 24 hours before we put it on the boat all right that should do that got that sprayed all right so we're finishing sealing this wood here just spraying some of this flex seal on the edges and rubbing it in real good Alrighty, so the next thing to do is uh, to put this slab here right in the back of the boat. Let's see if I can get that done. 
and this is one of two pieces. difficult all right so I slid it in that way let's see if we can just get it all the way up there get a hammer First one in. Now we'll get the second one. Uh, gonna have to lift this up. Uh, I'll bring that back now. Uh, down and back. The bottom of the bridge around there. There. Yeah, righty. Yeah. Alright. What's stopping it from sliding in place? That's in the way. Finally got it back in there. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna bang that lip back into place and start uh, bolting everything back down. So we finally got the transom back in. It's uh, double sealed with sealer. I hooked the uh, fuel hose back up. Put put it on. Put the motor on and bolted it in any spots that we had left we filled them in with silicone we rewire we we rewired everything to work except for that back light i have to plug in it just goes to show you that you can uh, do a little work yourself and save a lot of money if I would have taken that to the dealer to get a transom put on uh, it would have probably been two or three thousand dollars I did it myself for less than a hundred dollars all right well uh, we're gonna get fishing and uh, we'll see you on the lake That's